So you think you want to be a zookeeper? Well, regardless of where you might end up, whether a specialist keeper in a specialist collection or working with a wide variety of taxa at a larger collection, the reality is becoming a zookeeper can be incredibly tricky. Now at the start of your career, you're gonna be looking at entry level positions, possibly even seasonal positions. Now those seasonal positions are incredibly important for the industry. Taking on these additional staff allows keepers not only to look after their animals, but also spend more time with the public whether making informal conversations round about the park or putting on scheduled feeds and talks at specific times to be able to better educate the public, tell them not just about the animals in your care, but also possibly what's going on with those animals out in the wild. Now, as a young or aspiring keeper, these roles can be incredibly beneficial. For a park, they're more willing to take on people with less or no experience because they know it's a fixed term contract. Now, the biggest problem that you're gonna find with these seasonal positions is the timing of them. Zoos want large amounts of extra people, specifically during the summer months, which is exactly when lots of students and aspiring keepers are gonna find themselves entering the job market for the first time. So how is it that you can make yourself stand out that little bit more? Well, one way is going to be to bring some experience to the table. Now, I know what you're thinking. I'm telling you to take an entry level job. And prior to that, you're going to need to get experience. That constant hamster wheel of needing experience to get a job, making things incredibly difficult. And it is incredibly difficult. Now, there are some opportunities that you might be able to find. As I said, these seasonal positions are a bit easier to get into because they are short term contracts. But unfortunately, the zoo industry is one where a lot of people want to apply. There's going to be people from all walks of life, all levels of experience and all levels of passion, too. So what I would say is any opportunity that you have to volunteer is going to be an incredibly beneficial one. Now, this is something I actually did while I was at university. I went on the Biaza website on their members list and went down emailing every single collection that was listed there. Now, I got a variety of responses back, some saying that at this time it simply wouldn't be possible, some pointing to specific calendar dates when they release yearly or monthly volunteering opportunities, and some who were willing to discuss this and work with me moving forwards. Now, while I'm being very black and white about the fact that volunteering can actually help you get paid employment, volunteering is actually gonna be very helpful for you. I know of several people who went and did volunteering positions and very quickly realized that zookeeping wasn't a job that they actually wanted to do. My first volunteering experience, I spent about six weeks working at a large collection. And during that time, I rotated across several different sections. Now I spent the first week working with sea lions, the second week working with birds of prey, the third week working with large mammals. Now very quickly, while it was exciting to be around rhinos and zebras and giraffe, I realized that I was less interested in working with those species and the actual management of those species than I was working in the training sections and also in the small mammals. Now, as my career progressed, much of my time, much of my keeping career was spent working across small mammals and the training of birds and sea lions. Now, while that was my personal experience working with zoo animals in a zoo industry setting, over the years, I've worked with a variety of keepers who gain their experience in slightly different ways. Any experience that you can gain looking after animals, showing that you understand it's not just about playing and stroking them, but actually working hard, cleaning, providing food, and working within strict criteria of how those animals should be cared for is always going to be beneficial. Now, for me, those volunteering opportunities happened while I was at and just after university. Now, education is another one of those requirements which you will see on job applications. Depending on where you are in the world, the requirements are going to be different. In the UK, it's a degree level education or certainly something like a level three animal management qualification. Now, here in the UK, we have... Now, this is me coming to you straight from the edit. And that's because this part of the video basically hasn't worked. I was discussing the animal care and the animal management qualifications which were available here in the UK. Now, what I didn't want to do was advocate for any one particular course, especially one that I hadn't been on. So instead, I'm working on a much larger video covering the variety of education options that are available to you, and that will be coming to you in the future. 
In the meantime, however, it's worth noting that these courses can be incredibly good. By tailoring your lectures to the animal care industry and also offering you the opportunity to get hands on, often in-house with animal units, you're going to be able to hone and develop your skills as an animal keeper. Now for me, my degree wasn't based on zookeeping and actually much of what I learned I haven't thought about or discussed since. But dealing with the public, you often get asked a variety of quite probing and often odd questions. So having a base level of knowledge and also a willingness and a passion to research the areas that you might be working in and the public might be asking about is always going to be the biggest factor for you. When I got my first paid seasonal position, that was it. I'd made it. I finished university, graduated, done some volunteering, and now someone was willing to pay me for my work and for my knowledge. Now, six months later, at the end of the season, somebody else got offered a full-time position. I didn't. Now, that was somewhat humbling, back to sofa surfing, out of a job once again. I learned quite an important lesson there, which is you never really make it as a zookeeper. Now, I've worked with a variety of keepers throughout my career, some incredibly good, some much better than me, and they come from a variety of different backgrounds. The one thing that everybody has in common is that it wasn't easy getting this job. Whatever route they took, whether formal education, whether a sidestep from a different career path, all of them have worked incredibly hard, are incredibly passionate and interested in what it is they do, and also have continually developed themselves. So wherever you are in your career at the moment, there are always opportunities. While it can seem incredibly daunting, while it is incredibly difficult to get into, and once you have those opportunities, you really need to make the most of them, there is no single way that it has to be done.